Well, I suppose we should have a discussion on saving files and understanding file formats and all that good stuff. You know, I could probably talk about file formats for about an hour and a half or two hours straight, but you'd be bored to death. So I'm going to try and give you the sort of the short and sweet crash course on file formats. I'm talking about JPEGs and TIFFs and when should I save my file as a GIF and when should I save my file as a PDF and all that kind of stuff. Now, I guess I should start the conversation here by saying, of course, and this really goes without saying, but as you're working along in Photoshop, save your work often. If Photoshop crashes or if your computer crashes, heaven forbid, you will lose all of your work and you can phone me and we can cry together, but there's really nothing that I can do to help you if you've lost your work. So save often. That goes without saying. I do want to say this though, as we're going along and saving our work, control S or command S by the way is your keyboard shortcut. So every once in a while I just hit command S or control S to save my work. But depending on the type of file that you're working on, for example here we have barn1.jpg, so it's a JPEG file. As I'm working along inside Photoshop and you know as you and I start getting into the deeper aspects of Photoshop layers and alpha channels and you know adjustment layers and all this good stuff if we save our JPEG Photoshop is going to want to save our file as a Photoshop file a .psd file why well Photoshop's trying to help you out because not all file formats support all options, right? For example, a JPEG doesn't support Photoshop layers. JPEGs don't support Photoshop alpha channels either, right? This kind of thing. So Photoshop wants to make sure that your images remain as editable as possible. So you might see this every once in a while, and that's really the only reason why I'm mentioning it. I just don't want you to get confused here. Okay, how do I save my file into a different format? Very easy. Up to the file menu here and then down to save as. Now, of course, there are other methods for getting our stuff out of Photoshop and into other applications, but I'm just giving you the, the down and dirty here. So file save as. And then, of course, from the format drop down menu at the bottom of the dialog box, this is where we see the huge laundry list of file formats. Now, you know, I'm not going to go through every single one of these file formats with you here. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll point out the highlights and I will kind of leave it at that. And hopefully that'll be all right with you. So the very first option that we have is a Photoshop file as previously mentioned a .psd Photoshop document file and this is Photoshop's native file format so pretty much everything I can do inside Photoshop would remain editable inside a Photoshop document or a .psd so things like layers alpha channels adjustment layers masks all the good stuff right so what I would suggest you do is keep your files in the Photoshop format while you're working on them. And then if you need to post a version of your image online, for example, then save out a copy of your file in the appropriate file format. If you need your image in a print layout and you need to save out a copy, then save out a copy in a proper file format. So in other words, you're always working from the same original source, right? Anyway, there's the Photoshop native file format. The first guy there. BMP, don't use it. Otherwise, I will come to your house and take away your computer. Don't use .BMPs. They're terrible. They're low quality. They really shouldn't even exist. Anyway, we have CompuServe GIF. GIF and we have JPEG and PNG down towards the bottom. These guys are all siblings. So again, GIF, JPEG, and PNG. These guys are our three primary file formats, image file formats, that we would want to use in web design. Now, I'll spare you the nuts and bolts beyond that. So JPEGs and PNGs and GIFs are used nearly exclusively online. But JPEGs are also used quite often, you know, when you're emailing friends, the photos you took on your vacation, that kind of thing. So a JPEG is a really good file format for just getting your stuff around, you know, whether it's through email or onto Facebook or this kind of thing. There's another file format here called Photoshop EPS. I'm really not sure if this format is really even used anymore. We used to use this file format a lot in the print world back in the days of Quark Express, but I really don't think it's used that much anymore. But anyway, it is an option. You might see EPS's .EPS files come up every once in a while. And of course, everybody knows about PDF files. Now, did you know that you could save out your images, your Photoshop documents as PDFs? 
sure can. All you need to do is just choose Photoshop PDF from the drop-down menu here, click on Save, and that's all she wrote. Then you can open up the file inside Acrobat or email it to a coworker, and they can open it up inside Acrobat. Either the full Acrobat editing software or if they just have Acrobat Reader. It's great. Okay, good stuff. I already mentioned PNG or ping file, so I'll leave that one. The last one that I want to mention is TIFF. And again, a TIFF file is kind of like a... I will say a more professional version of JPEG. It's a great way for getting your images around. I think of TIFF as like a Jeep. It's really rugged, it's durable, it's gonna get you around. But it's really more used in professional circles. So if I wanted to send a print house my file and I want to make sure they can open it up, I would send the file to them as a TIFF. Or if I'm going to get my photographer to send me some files, I'm going to ask for TIFFs because it's guaranteed I can open up his files inside Photoshop. Okay, I just gave you the, the super fast run through. If you want to take a moment and try saving your file out under different file formats, comparing file sizes and things like this, go for it. Myself, I'm just going to cancel out of this dialog box.